What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you're actually going to get to play a game. Now the game is the following. Change the outcome of two tennis matches from anywhere in tennis history. Now the number one is kind of boring in my opinion. Uh, you get to change anything that you want to. So if you're a Federer fan, I think you would go with, I don't know, 2019 Wimbledon final, 2008 Wimbledon final, you know, the typical choices. But the number two game is when the fun begins, in my opinion. So you don't get to change anything that's related to your favorite player. So, of course, if you're a Federer fan, you cannot change the outcome of the 2019 Wimbledon final. If you're a Novak fan, you cannot change the outcome of the, I don't know, 2021 US Open final. The second rule to this game is that you cannot be a hater. So you cannot just go, well, if I cannot change, I don't know, Wimbledon 2019, I'll just change something that Novak won in, I don't know, 2022. Let's say I'll change the 2022 Wimbledon and final he loses to curious you cannot do that so you cannot be a hater and you cannot change your favorite players uh matches outcome personally i have an interesting maybe even slightly controversial slash triggering pick but hey game is game so of course i'm a novak fan and i cannot go against federer and nadal in a direct outcome in this scenario and therefore, I would actually pick Roland Garros 2009 round four, Rafael Nadal versus Robin Soderling. And I would actually change it to Rafael Nadal beating Robin Soderling. And here's why it's actually big brains, in my opinion. You may think it's stupid, but it's not. So, the reason number one is well, if Nadal beats Soderling, he pretty much wins that tournament. Which means that Federer doesn't, which means that Federer has zero French Opens and also has only 19, only 19 Grand Slams, which is such an ugly number. 20 is so beautiful, 19 is so ugly. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, extra trolling material, extra arguments for Novak fans. And the reason number two is actually uh, kind of making Novak look better because if Soderling doesn't beat Nadal, that means that the only person ever in tennis history who beats Rafael Nadal on French Open is Novak Djokovic, and he would do it still twice. So Nadal would be, what, 107 and 2, something like that, and the two would be Novak twice. So Novak would be the first person to beat him, Novak would be the last person to beat him, Novak would be the only person to beat him, which is kind of really cool to have. So it's a great boost to Novak's CV in an exchange of Rafael Nadal having one more French Open and one more Grand Slam, but also let's not forget taking one away from Roger Federer. And I don't think it really matters if it's 14 or 15 or 22 or 23. It's still less than 24, which Novak has, of course. And it's kind of cool to be the only person to beat Rafael Nadal at uh, French Open. So I think it's a really smart pick. And, of course, let me know in the comment section what do you think. Which two matches would you pick in tennis history?